Hello and welcome to TUI Books. Today we have with us an Indian actor, producer, bachelor father and now an author, Tushar Kapoor. Tushar Kapoor made the headlines in 2016 when he announced that he became a father to his son Lakshya through surrogacy. And now, six years down the line, he has spent his unusual fatherhood journey in his debut book, Bachelor Dad. What was the idea behind writing this book, Tushar? The intention was not to teach or preach or basically uh, do anything in that regard. It was uh, just about sharing my own experiences as a single parent. And uh, a lot of journalists, a lot of, uh, a lot of my fans and uh, people whom I meet socially, they ask me how life is as a single parent because I was one of the first few people to adopt the process that I did to become a father. So I felt that I was right to actually talk about what my journey has been like and uh, just basically share my experiences. And it was uh, well timed because as soon as I decided to do this and started talking to Penguin, I was uh, locked down like all of us in the rest of the world. And then it became more conducive to writing a book because there were times in the night when I didn't know what to do and writing a book about my own life and thinking about different ways to write a book became a great source of uh, therapy for me and a great uh, mental release, a stress buster. So the reasons have been manifold, of course, to share my experiences, to uh, prove myself as a writer, to, uh, to enjoy myself. There are lots of reasons why I wrote this book. All right. Uh, do you think the pandemic, in a way, um, as you said, it helped you uh, to write at night? But do you think the pandemic was also a time to reflect and uh, to uh, look at your journey as a father in the last six years? I think it was probably a more uh, peaceful time, especially in the evenings. Even though when I started writing, the unlocking process had started and we were going out. But what it really helped me in a sense with was uh, you know just uh, being able to introspect and try to rem try to rewind to all those years back when i was single and uh, i mean without a child and uh, what were my thoughts what were my uh, feelings confusions and what made me decide to do this so maybe if it wasn't for the lockdown maybe th things were busier maybe i would have been a little more cluttered in my head. I'm, I don't know, I can't predict that. But it definitely gave me more stuff to write about because of the pandemic, because of the lockdown. Uh, I got to write two extra chapters talking about my life as a parent in the lockdown, which basically turned out to be a very interesting end to my book. So I'd say that uh, it gave me more things to talk about. I mean, no more things to write about. And uh, that's how I completed the book. Hmm. That brings me to my next question. How has the pandemic been for you as a parent? And uh, I mean, this has, must be a very uh, busy time for you, considering that, you know, Lakshya is homeschooling at this point and uh, there's a new uh, normal that we're all uh, getting used to. So how has the experience been as a parent in this time? It's uh, obviously been very fulfilling. It's been... Uh enjoyable. I've learned two different things my son and I've spoken about all that in the book. So it doesn't make sense me talking about it right now because how has the pandemic been as a parent is probably one of the chapters in the book. So uh, and it goes into pretty much uh, all the details of the homeschooling, how it started with us and with me and Laksh and, and then we got used to it and then we started doing online schooling and it's going to be almost two years now with the lockdown though we've had breaks in between wherein we were like almost completely opened up and we used to go out and play in the parks so it's been a tough two years of changing patterns of behavior and i've spoken about all that in the book so i hope people like those two chapters you have also spoken about your uh, parents reaction to the to you know the news when you broke it to them uh, about uh, uh, choosing surrogacy to become a parent so, uh, and their reaction was quite different. I won't share the details, but their reaction was quite different from what you had expected. So, uh, would you like to share how the atmosphere at home was or how the uh, whole news was taken 
by your friends and close family uh it's uh, taken in very positively and i have also spoken about this in the book written about this in the book and uh, i didn't share it with my friends and family until very very late because i wanted to finish the whole procedure i wanted to uh, take an independent decision with regards to my parenting and i knew it was something that i had to do myself so i had to think independently first and then of course i had to share it with family also because we live together and uh, uh, like all parents uh, they were a little surprised but uh, they understood that i'm grown up and i'm an adult who has the right to take his own decisions regarding fatherhood and they were happy for me and they just told me that you know i should be sure i should be clear and i should know uh, what i'm getting into and i should be willing and ready to take on the responsibility which i had, which i had already thought over by thought over a, a lot by then which i had already Uh, decided internally and that's why i had done it so it was a good uh, meeting with them and it was good revealing this secret to them and they were happy uh you know there's a popular saying uh, which is which goes like a child gives birth to a mother so in your case it must be it would be a child give give birth to a father or uh, so how has the fatherhood journey been for you and uh, how has uh, you know luck changed your life in the last 6 years uh he has obviously made me a completely new human being i would say uh, in the sense that i'm a happier more confident uh more responsible more organized more uh, i would say more resourceful a person now because you have to work to the best of your abilities when you're a father you can't waste time you can't slack you can't uh, Uh, make too many mistakes because it's it's about a child his life his happiness so you are always doing your best and that has really improved me as a person and uh, i enjoy myself so much more now even going out because it's just beautiful to have someone to love someone to be responsible for and someone to have a purpose in your day for so when you're done with all the work and all the looking after and all your own other work also you feel so you feel so satisfied with the end of it all and you feel so complete that you want to you want to go out and enjoy yourself with your friends you want you want to stay home and just watch the news and just feel like on top of the world after having done so much in the rest of the day so it's a lot of work but it's uh, it's something that makes you feel like a complete man for sure do you also read bedtime stories to him uh, what kind of how do you spend your quality time with your son how do you bond i do read him try to read him one story a night and uh, he he likes reading but there are days when he doesn't feel like he's in the mood so i give him a break then but uh, but mostly i read out to him uh, mm-hmm. one book a night and, uh, he he likes uh, reading books especially some books that he likes to read again and again and uh, I will continue this habit because I think reading is the best way to really uh, get a child's mind go- uh, going and uh, get a child's mind thinking about the world and things and and create this uh, huge uh, world of his own internally and that comes from reading. So it also helps you in your writing abilities because you're reading words, so that helps you write words also. So there are many advantages of a good reading habit. I will try to do that with him continuously. Uh would you like to share some of his uh, favorite children's books? He yeah, he I would like to there's a book called Harvey Mouse which is written by a lady called Michelle Poonawala. I don't know her but it was gifted to us by someone. So he likes this book called Harvey Mouse. He likes uh uh the he used to like when he very small those ones that are about a very hungry caterpillar and uh then brown bear polar bear uh yeah those they were like basic books for children that were toddlers now he he has lots of favorite books i mean there is the uh, i don't know the not remember the names but i i mean there are a list of them that are lying in his room and he keeps taking them again and again he also likes reading about monuments and he likes uh reading about animals especially and uh, there's a book called down by the down by the sea which has all these different different animals that are in the sea and number one 
is an animal with one, which is one in number. Number two is another animal with two in number. So you get through the numbers also with the animal names. So he likes all these different kind of activity books also. Hmm. And what about you? Are you an avid reader? What kind of books do you like to read? Um. I am not such an avid reader. I read mostly about Buddhism because I am a I am a practicing uh, Buddhist. Uh, I follow in nature in Buddhism, and I read. I do a lot of study with regards to my practice. Otherwise, I like to read the newspapers, and I like to read interesting stuff online, which is kind of informative. And uh, yeah, I don't read novels so much, but uh, it's strange that I have written a book on my own entirely. Uh, <clears throat> from uh, my perspective without any co-author hmm. and i'm not such an avid talking about your son does he remind you of your own childhood days and uh, who is his favorite family member from your family he is a, he's a lot like me when i was young but he's much more open minded much freer as a person much more confident than i was hmm. uh and uh, of course though at that time even though we didn't have so many things to do we had so much uh, to do in the building only with friends etc now with the pandemic everything is so restricted so you know the kids are a bit disadvantaged today mm. but uh, he is a lot like me but he's i think more forward than i was when i was small and amongst the family members i think his favorite i am the obviously the I'm the parent so i am the favorite but he likes his dada a lot because the dada is very affectionate and uh, Bua and his dadi, they are equally uh, loving to him, so he likes them both equally much. But dada is very special, and uh, I am the most important, of course. And of course, uh, his didi Priya, he loves her a lot. All right, and one last question: uh, <clears throat> Is there any message you would like to send across to uh, your readers through this book? I don't have any message really. I just uh, would love for them to enjoy the book, and uh, if they feel uh, like they want to read it in one go, that would be a great thing. Like how you said, you read it in one go, so it felt so good. But however they would like to read it, it's fine. I just hope that they enjoy and appreciate the hard work that I put into this book. And most importantly, there's no. nothing that i would like to say that is uh, written with an intention to inspire or teach or preach anything uh, it's just my life and everyone has different answers to their own uh, life stories and challenges and uh, if like a by product there is an inspiration that comes out of this book then that's something that will really add a feather to my cap so you know i'll uh, humbleness in all humility i just hope and pray with fingers crossed that people appreciate this book and tell their friends to read it for sure